Tip Tut. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Tut. Now, today we are going to look at a very simple tool within uh, Illustrator. A couple of people asked me how to do this because at first it's not obvious. We're going to um, want to see how you skew objects like you do in Photoshop. Um, it's not called that within Illustrator, and it's actually hidden within one of the menus you wouldn't expect. You'd think it would just be you go to the Transform tool, um, and like in Illustrator, you can hover over the edge and skew, but you can't. There's actually several ways you can do this. I'm going to show you all of them. You can select the individual individual point brush, um, sorry, selection tool, and then select the two points on the top and just skew by controlling them individually. Now that doesn't give you an awful lot of control, um, but it does give you an awful lot of freedom. So that's one um, good choice if you wanted a lot of freedom. Um, the second one is of course to go over to the transform window where this tool is hidden um, and you can actually adjust by degrees here. Uh, under shear there's presets, there's the negative 30 for example, 20, things like that. The uh, issue with that is it actually resets to zero each time you make a change. Say for example I enter in a thing here of 45 degrees exactly, it resets it to zero so you don't actually remember what it is that you're on. Um, that's an unfortunate side effect of illustrators, just how it works. Works. Um, the third option is to go over to the scale tool where this is actually hidden, um, which is here. And it's actually a drop down of the scale. So if you click and hold on that, you've got the shear tool here. And now what that does is no matter how much you control it, you can actually rotate and shear at the same time. So this is the most powerful of the tools. You can see that you can stretch the shape and it will shear it in relative to where you've stretched it. Or you can completely rotate the shape and shear in different directions. Or if you hold shift, it'll keep it on the original path and it'll actually give you the degree to which you're shearing it. So you're shearing by to an angle of negative 41 um, degrees, which is the angle from the center point to where your cursor is, not the angle by which you're shearing it. You can see, for example, if you go the other way, it says 114. We're not shearing it by 114 degrees, which is moving the point where your cursor is um, to the angle between the center and the point of 113 degrees, but you're actually sharing it by about 60 degrees. If you see, you come along here, type in 60, probably the amount you were sharing it by. That's just that I guess, so it's not entirely accurate. Um, and this basic one here is just to illustrate again that the points tool, you can actually shear uh, with a lot more control. If you do individual points, um, what that does mean is you can get uneven shearing, um, which can be quite powerful in certain circumstances. Um, and that's all there really is to it. This is just a very quick video to show you guys where it is. If you can't see the transform window, you just go to window and transform because it's not entirely obvious within Illustrator where that tool actually is. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, great. Stick around. There'll be more like this in the future. If you didn't, let me know how I can improve because I'm only here to get better. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.